Hello, this is Michael McCarthy, and in this video I wanted to take a look at some of the improvements in state sets in 2015. Now the first thing that you'll notice is probably that the record button is gone. A lot of people asked for the ability to uh, just go into a state and have it record automatically, which is exactly what this does. So if I go into the state and turn off chamfer for these two objects, when I back out, then that's recorded for me. And you can see I can pop in and pop out from that state. If I go into this state and I select these guys here, bring up the material editor and change their material, you can see that those properties get added for that state without the need of the record button. Now there are a number of instances where you would want the record button, probably usually for doing things like scene setup. So if you had a state where you wanted all your windows hidden just for working in the viewport, you may not want to do it that way. And that's okay. That's just under options and configuration, you can go in and you can change that back and the record button will show for you. The next couple of things I wanted to look at were kind of small annoying things. You guys asked and we listened and fixed some of those things. Uh, one would be uh, the icon quality that you'd see in these uh, drop downs. They were really kind of jagged and janky in a lot of cases and those have been updated so that we have nice clean icons in these guys. You can see the material assigned and so on and so forth. Another thing that was asked for is the default of uh, fast double click to rename. So this happened to be a, let's just take a look, that's the chamfer. And this one is the material change. And in this one what I'll do is uh, just click on right click and rename which was another asked for little feature um, that that rename wasn't in the right click menu so we've added that in and this could be uh, the material state there. So I can toggle back and forth between those. If you did like the slow double click in here, just like the record, you can go over to options, configuration, and you can change it back to the slow double click. There was another small annoying kind of UI feature, uh, which was in the light scheme. If we just go over to that, it was difficult to see the arrow in this little icon here. So when it got dark here, it was difficult to see the arrow here, or it almost even disappeared. So we made those a little bit darker so that it was easier to see as you go through. Obviously these are not major improvements, but these are things that on a daily basis people run into, so we wanted to make sure we gave them their due attention. Another thing people wanted was quick access to uh, state sets and going between states. So of course we've had the uh, quad menu before. If we go here we have our states. You can go to each one. So I can switch to my chamfer and the object state or whatever state I want. I can record state or create a new state or bring up the manage state sets dialog. We also added in a new toolbar. So if I right click and go to state sets, you'll see that the toolbar will be added over here. This gives me the ability to pop up and back the manager if I want. Uh, you can see I have my base state and I can go to any one of these states by just kind of clicking and then clicking the arrow on it from the toolbar. You can also manage your states as you would before. So if you wanted to disable or change the rendering options in here, you certainly could. The disable and rendering options are also on the current selected state. So if I toggle this to non-renderable, you'll see that that'll be there. And if I toggle it to be disabled, you can see that it disables or enables that state even if you have it checked. If you back out, then you go to your base state. There's another option here to export our selection over to the compositor link which we'll take a look at in another video. So those are a few of the quick improvements in 2015. There's actually a lot more and we'll take a look at those in the next videos. Thank you very much.